Okie dokie, welcome to the next video. Okie dokie. So, anyway, we are here and we are about to learn how to make a collar stand. Now, what we did in the previous video, we made a mandarin collar, um, which stops right at the center front and doesn't overlap, so therefore you can't button it like a regular collar stand um, that you use like on your dress shirt collars. So what we're going to do first thing, we're going to take our mandarin collar and we are going to trace it and um, after we trace it then we're going to edit it, okay? Okay, so now we have our mandarin collar and it's traced and I um, put all of the seam allowances on it so you can see where they are. <coughs> now what we're going to do, we need to take off the front seam allowance because we're going to extend it. So you're going to erase this front seam allowance off of it. Okay, and now you just have the seam line on the front. So what we're going to do at the seam line on the bottom, we are going to extend it for one inch. Okay, make sure you can see that. So actually, you can do it like this. If you have this type of ruler, which you really should have it if we're going to be really awesome fashion designer. <clears throat> so there's an inch, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a half inch on the front of that inch so that we know that's where our seam allowance is going to be. So this is the inch extension, and this is a half inch seam allowance. Okay. Then. I'm going to take this and just extend it out. And you can really just square it out like that. And then a little. Okay. Okay, dookie. So there's that, and then I'm going to stand the top out too. Okay, so I've extended both of those. Go ahead and extend your seam allowance. And I actually extended the seam allowance first down here, but it's okay. Okay. So now we have it extended an inch. Now, we need to know that this is our center front. So I'm going to write a little CF on that line to let me know that's my center front. Okay, and I'll put a little notch down here and a little notch up there. Now down here, this is going to just um, let you know when you get to your center front this notch matches your center front okay now the notch at the top is where your actual collar is going to be um, stopping at once it's sewn up because you're going to sew your collar up first then stick it in your collar stand and then sew your collar stand up okay but it needs to match right here at center front now let's do this um, what's the thing called buttonhole really quickly. Now usually you would use a half inch buttonhole on your, um, what you call it, on your dress shirt, but of course that is completely up to you. Uh, that's just sort of like the norm I guess. So we need to find the half and half is going to be three quarter for us um, because it should be, our collar stand should be one and a half inches wide. So three quarter should be the half inch. Now one-eighth in front of the mark in front of the center front. We need to mark that. Okay. So hopefully you can see that. So that mark is one-eighth in front of the center front. Now behind it we're going to mark the actual width of the button which would be half an inch. 
Send the mark here. Mark there. Okay. Now that's a rule of thumb. You always put a little ease in your buttonhole. One eighths worth. That way your buttonhole won't have problems getting into the uh, hole. But it also won't have issues falling out every two seconds. Okay. So there's your buttonhole. That is it for the collar stand. Um, last little thing we need to do is just curve the front end of it. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab my French curve. And actually, the easiest thing to do would be just to curve your seam allowance. That way you don't have to try to make exactly the same curve on your um, seam allowance as you did on the inside. Now you can do that and come back here and do this and then just kind of measure it to make sure it's half an inch. But that's pretty much the easiest way to do it. Okay. Then once you're finished, you're going to cut there. Um, do your grain lines like I did in some of my other collar videos and you're done with your collar stand. And then I'll be showing you how to do the actual collar in another video. Hey, just as a quick note, your collar stand does not have to be this wide. You can um, obviously make it a lot um, thinner if you want to. Instead of it being this wide, you can take off like another half inch and that will probably get you to the collar stands that you're used to seeing. So um, it's not a bad thing. It won't kill your collar. But um, some collar stands are really wide and some of them aren't. So all you have to do is just take away another half inch. Like you could just erase the top seam allowance. And then just start working from your seam line. And then just draw your half inch down. And make your seam line your new cut line. Because that would take you a half an inch in. So anyway, that's just a little idea because this is a pretty thick collar stand. Okay?